To write the Lewis structure for xenon, that's Xe, we first need to figure out how many valence electrons xenon has. These are the electrons that are around the atom. They're on the outside. They're the ones that are normally involved in chemical bonds. So we can go to the periodic table and we'll find xenon. Xenon is right over here. It's in group 8a, sometimes called group 18. So all of the elements here, except helium, in group 8 or 18 have eight valence electrons. And you can see the pattern. Group 1, that has one valence electron. The elements in group 2, they have two valence electrons. Skip the transition metals. They're a bit confusing. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8, and there's xenon. So once we know the number of valence electrons, we can write the Lewis structure for xenon. To do that, we'll put eight valence electrons around the element symbol. 2, 4. Note that because there's eight valence electrons, the outer shell is full and it really shouldn't react with anything. Xenon's kind of a special case in that you can make something called xenon tetrafluoride, but under very high temperatures and pressures. Xenon normally, it doesn't react with things. One final note, xenon's kind of neat. It can be used in lights to make really powerful lights like the ones here that are being used to illuminate the space shuttle. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for xenon, and thanks for watching.